Hello everyone and welcome back to Rave Green TV and this is going to be your review of the Seattle Sounders very boring nil-nil draw against the Portland Timbers and that extends the Portland Timbers a beat and run against the Seattle Sounders to five matches which is very disappointing to see and still the Seattle Sounders are yet to win at home against the Portland Timbers since 2017. Luckily we do have a second chance later on the season to maybe redeem ourselves but if we're going to be real probably won't happen. What went wrong in this today in today's game? It was just the same old, same old. No chances created. Same lineup. Same same dry play. Same dry tactics. Reed Baker Whiting looked like he was out of his depth. Liao Chu couldn't take on a player to save his life. He only seems like he can get goals or assists against the really weak teams in Sporting Kansas City and the LA Galaxy when they're really down bad and struggling. Nicholas Ladero, I think, dropped another pretty boring performance. I really don't get why we can't drop Ladero any of these games, maybe give Rusak a chance at the 10, and then maybe play someone else at the CDM role. It's kind of annoying to watch us play the same lineup, persist with the same tactics, and we put out the same boring performances. We had three home games, got four points, one win narrowly against the Red Bulls, lost to San Jose, who is a team that's actually really close to us in the standings and now can leapfrog us if they win their games in hand, and then, and then drew against Portland, where in my opinion, this was the must-win game. Does Brian Schmetzer, I know this is very controversial and I spoke about it in the preview, but does Brian Schmetzer go onto the hot seat for us a little bit? I know we're sitting in a top five spot and we started off the season very well, but it's just like we haven't really been that good. We've gone back to that old form of last season and it's just so frustrating to watch this team. Lack of creativity. We haven't played well. We can't beat the Portland Timbers. For as, as long as Gio Savarese is bad, and I get, granted the Portland Timbers are sitting way below us in the standings, but with, I mean, we only have one less loss than them this season. At least Gio Savarese can bring his players up for the big games. That's the facts. Brian doesn't, we don't, we don't get up for the big games, but Gio gets the Portland Timbers up for the big games, and it's just upsetting to watch from us. Again, I think I'm gonna have to repeat myself. Does it come down to the players? Does it come down to the tactics of Brian Schmetzer? Something needs to change because we're seeing the same things over and over again, and it is so tiring to watch. Ladero, Rui Diaz are supposed to be our star players. Don't do anything. Rusnak, another star player, but we play him out of position at CDM. Eber was our big, our only signing since Albert Rusnak last season, and he played, he's been playing pretty bad, and now Brian Schmetzer's lost confidence in him as he only got to play four minutes in today's game when we probably needed the win. All in all, Portland came here, they did their typical thing, they tried to shithouse a win. They almost did that, to be honest. I think they did have some half chances. If they were a bit more clinical with it, they probably would have won. There's nothing more to say. They have an ethos at the end of the day. We don't. We play dry. We keep on playing dry. We aren't playing well. It's just the same things since that Real Salt Lake game away this season. We have been dry ever since that game, and we've been playing bad ever since that game. And I would have loved to have seen us win at home because I know 42,000 other people would have liked to have seen it, and we're not doing that. Brian thinks, I just like, I don't even get it. Like, and you go into halftime after that terrible performance we put out in the first half, like terrible. Like I was falling asleep. My dad was falling asleep next to me. Everyone around us were falling asleep. Like, what are you going to tell these players to inspire them? You're going to be like, all right, boys, keep it up. We're going to keep playing my dull same tactics and keep putting out shit performances, and I'm just getting tired of going to these games home and away and seeing the same things over and over again. Jordan Morris does his little shimmy, goes down the line. Liao Chu pretends he's Vinicius Jr., but plays anything but like Vinicius Jr., falls down to every little touch. It is so hard to watch this team, and it's so tiring to watch this team, and I'm on my knees with Brian Schmetzer, the Seattle Sounders office, Something needs to change. Either the players need to change or Brian needs to change. I don't know, and I don't have the answers for you because I keep saying the same thing, and I'm losing my voice of saying the same thing. My body knows he's he is tired of saying the same stuff and watching the same shit because this team needs to do better for these players. I know we're doing we're in the standings. We're technically doing really well, but if you look at it, wins, losses to draws, again, I'm going to repeat myself, we only have one less loss to the Portland Timbers. Just one, that's it. But boys and girls, 
my opinion only matters so much. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What are your guys' thoughts on today's match? Unfortunately, I'm not going to drop a match vlog for this game because there's nothing that happened and it would only probably be about 5 to 10 minutes. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be dropping a match vlog for this game because nothing happened and I don't want to waste my time on editing other videos like the Lamar Nagel interview that will come out this week and the fan cams and today's review. So I do really apologize for that. I hope you guys can all forgive me. I'll make it up to you guys with one more match vlog at least till the end of this season. But boys and girls, I appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Smash the like button. It'll make me feel a thousand times better because we went through a lot of pain watching that game. And boys and girls, I hope you all have a lovely day.